Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Vilma. Today I'm bringing you a mango transitional So before we even get started, if this is your first time here, then welcome. My name is Vilma. I do one to two videos a week related to fashion and lifestyle. If you like the sound of that, then you've definitely come to the right place. Make sure that after you watch this video, that you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos from myself. I get questions a lot about my measurements and these will be in the info bar below. But if you're new here, my style is very minimalistic. I like clean cuts neutral shades of course i do like to inject a little bit of color here and there but today's haul doesn't have all that much but i feel like the shades that i have included in this haul are going to be very very wearable for most of you out there one thing i would definitely like to mention in this video is a mango sizing it is a little bit different from example h m and zara in zara i tend to buy everything in a size medium or size 12 uk or 40 europe or 8 us and that goes for the same for h&m when it comes to mango i find that their sizing sometimes is very very accurate or it's a little bit on the smaller side so the first piece that i'm going to show you i will tell you that i bought it in a size large when in fact it just fits to me like a size medium so keep that in mind whilst you're watching this video and whether you would need your exact size or something a little bit bigger and with all of that being said let's get started with this video so this year i want to do things a little bit different i definitely want to include some dresses here and there although i love wearing jeans and trousers i feel like spring and summer dresses are definitely a must and the one that i chose from mango in this haul is this one right here now this is a gorgeous flowery pattern type of dress it has a little tie up belt here in the center so you can either just wear it like this completely loose or you can cinch it in a little bit to give you more of a flattering silhouette so mango has a few collections within their website and this particular dress is from the exclusive collection it comes in two shades this one is more of a neutral type of shade the flowers are beigey white and there's a little bit of green like a khaki green in there which i find very very neutral and very wearable this dress retails for 49.99 and i got it in size large i love the detail on the sleeves and the tears on the bottom of the dress it just adds a little bit more i don't find that the pattern it's too overwhelming usually i don't go for patterns i like everything very very plain but i feel like the shades are so wearable definitely something that i would have in my wardrobe so i believe that this would definitely be a keeper for me so you guys well know that i absolutely love denim so of course i had to order at least one pair and the jeans that i got are these ones in a lovely sage green shade now these are advertised as slouchy jeans they are super high-waisted. I got them in size 40, which is 12 UK or 8 US. These are made of 100% cotton, and it's the sustainable cotton and the eco-wash line, which I absolutely love. I find that a lot of high street stores are not doing, you know, they're trying to be sustainable, which is a thumbs up for me. So these retail for $34.99 and I feel like that's kind of like the average price for denim in mango. They look like this from the front and from the back they look like this with a lovely little tag right here. So as mentioned, these ones are called slouchy jeans, but as far as I can remember on the website, they're called high-waisted barrel jeans. So again, it's something to look for when you're ordering something online. Sometimes when they come, they come with different names. If I'm not mistaken, that's how they were called online. I love the fact that they are cropped. So they're kind of like a little bit shorter. Again, I am five foot seven. They have a frayed hem 
and I absolutely adore the fit of these jeans. Now I styled it with a white button up shirt, which is the one that I'm wearing, which I will be talking about in a minute. And I just love how they fit. Again, they are 100% cotton, so there's no stretch whatsoever. I would say with these ones, definitely stay true to your size. If you are a size 14, then order a size 14. If you're smaller, please stay true to your size because they are fitted when you buy them. Now, after wearing them throughout the video, I felt like they were giving a little bit, but I feel like that's normal with 100% cotton. It kind of like molds to your body. They're not loose whatsoever, but they felt a lot more comfortable throughout the time that I was wearing it. And throughout the video, you are going to see that I was wearing it with different pieces that I've ordered. So as you guys well know, I absolutely love neutrals, but I feel like this particular shade is super duper wearable. It's a kind of like toned down green. So sage green is super wearable for the entire year in my opinion. And I'm really happy that they have this color available because it's something that I don't have in my wardrobe, but I could definitely make it work within my capsule. So the next item that I wanna talk about is actually the button up shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's made of sustainable cotton and it retails for 19 pounds 99. Now this style is cropped. So it's an oversized shirt, but it is cropped. And the size that I ordered when I was ordering it online was size 14 because I like my shirts to be a little bit oversized. I don't fully remember if it was actually advertised as a oversized cropped shirt, but I felt like I wanted to try a bigger size because that's just how I like my shirts to fit. Now, when it came out of the packaging, it was actually saying it's an extra large. So again, keep that in mind. Their sizing is a little bit different. You see something online and when you get it, it is a little bit different. So I want to emphasize that throughout the video, just in case you've never ordered from Mango. Now, when it comes to the quality of this cotton, I feel like the cotton does stretch slightly. It's not the thickest cotton ever. It is kind of like on the thin side. Um, it does fit really nicely. I actually like the fact that it is oversized. You can see from the sleeves, it's kind of like coming on my hand, which is something that I like. You could either just put it up or roll it up. I think it would look really nice. And as you can see, I tucked it in even in the jeans that I'm wearing and on the jeans that I was wearing before, and it looks really good. So if you don't like a lot of fabric in your jeans or your trousers, then definitely go for this crop size because or style because it would look and look a lot nicer and be a little bit more flattering so you wouldn't have a lot of bulginess because of fabric of longer shirts. Although I prefer shirts to be a little bit thicker in fabric, I still really, really like this one because it's going to be a nice basic to be added to anyone's wardrobe. And if you live in a very, very hot climate, it's not going to make you overheat. Um, it's not going to glue to your body. It's just going to make you feel very, very comfortable. So overall, I actually think that this shirt is pretty good for the price that I paid and I would highly recommend. As I live in the UK, it's super important to have some knitwear in the transitional period. So I picked up two pieces that I'm going to show you, but the first one is going to be this one right here, which is a lovely recycled cotton vest. Now this is from their committed range, which I really love in Mango. They have a lot of like recycled materials or organic cotton and stuff like that, which I really like. Now I got this in size medium. I believe it retails anything between $24.99 and $34.99. I can't fully remember. And as I mentioned, I got it in size medium and I really, really love the look of it. So on the trims over here, this is kind of like a dark navy blue and then you have a khaki green over here. There's a vent on the side and it has this kind of like a braided patterned throughout the vest. It's not very heavy, which is something that I like. I find sometimes things made of 100% cotton, or if they have a little bit of wool, they're a little bit too heavy for the transitional period. But I actually find that this one is not heavy at all, but that doesn't mean it's not good quality. It actually feels really nice. It feels super duper soft. And I feel like it's something that could be worn 
so well on top of a shirt. Um, I could wear it with white trousers. I could wear it on top of a t-shirt. I really like it. I find that it's very versatile. And again, it's a lovely piece and a lovely addition to anyone's wardrobe. So the next piece is going to be a cotton blend pair of trousers and they look like this. I ordered it in this really nice, kind of like a cream, almost off-white shade. These are made of a blend of lyocell and cotton. They retail for 35 pounds, I think, and I got them in size 12 UK, which is size 40. Now, these are made of organic cotton, which is great. Now, when it comes to the style of these trousers, I find that they almost remind me of my Zara slouchy jeans that I got last year. They're very, very similar. There is a little bit of stretch in them. So for these ones, I would highly recommend downsizing. I think the size 10 would have fitted me a little bit better, especially on the waist. Although it does have belt hoops, I prefer my trousers to be worn as simple as they are and then just add a belt if I want to dress up the outfit or make it look different. But overall, I do really like them. They are thick. They are kind of like that type of material that is definitely transitional where it's not going to make you feel hot, but it, it could definitely cover you from the cold as well, especially if you live in the UK. I really like it. Um, I just think that I would need a smaller size. And again, the way that I styled it, super easy. You could wear this with a bodysuit. You could wear it the same way that I styled it or with a t-shirt and trainers. I think it would look super nice. I may need to order this in a smaller size just to see if it's something that I could incorporate in my wardrobe because I do really like them. One thing that Mako does really well is their cardigans and I always tend to order one just to see how they feel and if they're actually worth the price. So I got one for you guys today and it looks like this. Now this one retails I believe for 35 pounds it comes in just one shade. It's made a blend of viscose and polyester, but the majority of the fabric content is viscose. And I got it in size medium. Now, when I looked at this on the website, I thought it was really, really nice. And it has this chic look to it. It does have a color, which is really, really nice. The buttons are kind of like minimalist, which is something different for me. I always find that buttons on cardigans have the holes and you can see the stitching. These ones make the cardigan look a little bit more expensive. Now when it comes to the sleeves, they are a little bit wide but not too much. They kind of like taper almost at the wrist area. They do have some perforations throughout but it just adds a little bit of texture to it but it's not too overwhelming. Now when it comes to the opening of these buttons, they are kind of like clip-ons. I always say kind of like, but that's exactly what they are. I don't mind, but it feels like you need to be careful when you're opening it so you don't stretch the fabric. This cardigan is actually quite heavy. Not heavy in a sense that it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. Heavy in a sense that it's good material. It feels super soft. Um, it's super cozy and I really like the fact that it also looks good with a button-up shirt. Of course, you can style it any other way that you feel appropriate to your style. I wanted to style my shirt with all of the items that I have here besides the dress. That's how I do my hauls. I like to mix and match the pieces to give you an idea of how many outfits you could actually create. So this actually looks super nice. I really like the shade. It's not going to wash me out. And I think it looks really nice with the outfit that I created and my dark hair as well. So one of those pieces that again, I'm super happy with and I would highly recommend. So the last item that I'm gonna show you guys in this video was one of the items that I was super excited and eager to try. But when I did, I was very, very disappointed. It's another pair of trousers. These are also from the Committed line and they're made of a blend of cotton, sustainable cotton, and a polyester. But again, the majority of the fabric content on here is cotton. So they look like this. 
Um, they come in this uh, gorgeous uh, beige shade. I can't fully remember the price of these trousers, but I think they were a little bit more expensive, possibly anything between 35 and 50 pounds. I got them again in size 40, which is 12 UK and 8 US. They are full length, so if you are the same height as me, they're going to fit you perfectly. If you are shorter, you need to bring them in or just tailor them to your height. And if you are a little bit taller, they are going to be maybe cropped on you. Now, the shade is perfect. The style is great. They are high-waisted, so for these ones, stay true to your size. But here is the thing that I don't like about these trousers. The material of them is very noisy. Do you guys hear that? And when I walk, all I can hear are these trousers just rubbing in my inner thighs. I do have my inner thighs are a little bit kind of like almost together. And I'm sure that a lot of women have that issue, but I think that even if you don't have that particular issue, these trousers are going to annoy you when it comes to the sound. So every time I just do like this, as you can hear, there's a, it feels like plastic. That's how they feel. And I'm super duper disappointed. I was looking really forward in a trying these because I've been looking for a pair of trousers like this for a while. I'm trying to look at more affordable options before I decide to go to Arquette or any of the stories, which I will be paying more than 60 pounds for a pair of trousers. So these ones, unfortunately, are a no-no and very disappointing. And so we've reached the end of this try on haul from Mango. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give this video a good thumbs up. This really, really helps my channel out. Also, let me know below if you would like for me to do transitional hauls from other brands. I've been getting a lot of questions on Everlane if this is a brand that you would like for me to try and show you my favorite pieces let me know in the comment section below or if you like any of these what pieces should I be keeping besides the jeans because I think I'm definitely going to keep those should I keep the dress should I go down a size let me know what your thoughts are I absolutely love interacting with you guys thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next video bye